The word defibrillator for today. We hopefully we have a word within the word that's going to kickstart your day. So let's see what happens today. We've heard it so many times before. I've heard it so many times before. And sometimes you go, oh, please, not that scripture again. But here it is. Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. Being the proof of the things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Wow. Pretty good, eh? Not too shabby. Now, if it says now faith, what is it actually saying? Let's just go back one. I just want to see in Hebrews 10. And uh, coming to you, what he does is the end of first when he said just before now the desire have taken to see sacrifice. So it's coming out of Hebrews 10, and it's talking about the law. And in the beginning it says, For since the law has merely a rude outline, foreshadowing of the good things to come, instead of fully expressing those things, it can never, by offering the same sacrifices continually year after year, make perfect those who approach. Then, in Hebrews 11, now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed. Faith is the assurance, blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. The confirmation, the title deed. Faith is the title deed. So with faith, it's impossible to please God. We have to have faith. It's the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. So in other words, if I have faith in you coming to my house for dinner, that is me believing in the unseen. Because it hasn't happened yet. I have a complete understanding and assurance that you're coming. It's done. It is there. The confirmation of the title deed. So that faith is the assurance that you are going to be coming around. And it's of the things that I hope for. And it's the proof of the things we do not see. And the, fun, for, and the conviction of their reality. So faith is that I'm totally convicted that you and I have discussed and you're going to come around for dinner on a particular day and you and I both are in faith that it's going to happen. It hasn't happened. We cannot see it physically. Here's the crazy thing. We can see it in our mind. It hasn't formed yet, but it is a thought. So we've arranged the date. Then you're going to have thoughts as to how cool it's going to be. I'm going to have thoughts on how nice it's going to be. You're going to come around and I'll get certain places ready in the evidence that I have faith in you coming. I'm going to get the garden ready. I'm going to get the home ready. We're going to prepare a meal for you. Perhaps we even said, like, what do you really like to eat? And you like that certain chicken dish and we're going to make it for you. And we're going to prepare. And if people come round, they're going to go, what are you doing? Like, well, we are preparing for a dinner. But they're not even here yet. Ah, but we do have faith that they are. And that faith is the assurance that they are coming. And our actions is the proof that we believe it. Because that's why we'll go to the shops. We're going to go buy stuff for the meal. We're going to get little treats. We're perhaps going to get a dessert and your favorite dessert. And all that is evidence that we believe it is going to happen without a shadow of a doubt. We even are prepared to spend money on it knowing that it's going to happen. How cool is that? Because it's the, conv the conviction of the reality that is going to come to pass. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. So in the mind, now when we are preparing that meal, it says it's not revealed to the senses, but when we are thinking about, well, let's have this dish, I'm going to smell it. Not really, but I, I will have that confirmation because as I'm going to be buying the food in faith and preparing the meal, once the meal gets to that place where it's complete, I'm going to smell and go, oh, that's it. That's a manifestation of what is to come. And putting that food aside with absolute conviction that this whole thing is going to go down. You're going to pitch up at the gate. You're going to walk in the door. I'm going to introduce you to the family. I'm going to welcome you. 
going to get you something to drink and get you comfortable. And there'll be a moment that whatever we spoke to that wasn't even a reality. Making that arrangement so many weeks ago. We're going to sit down. We're going to have that meal together. And that is the manifestation of what we hoped for, what we discussed, what all our actions and everything Prove that we believe without a shadow of a doubt it's going to happen. And guess what happens? It comes to pass. How? For that is faith. Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Being the proof of the things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. That means it hasn't manifested yet. Senses mean I'm either going to smell it, touch it, see it, hear it. For by faith, trust and holy fervor born of faith, the men of old have divine testimony born to them and obtained a good report. Hmm. Hmm. By faith we understand that the world during the successive ages were framed fashions put in order and equipped for the intended purpose by the word of God so that what we see was not made out of things which are visible. How nice is that? <laughs> and on verse 6 it does say, but without faith it is impossible to please God and be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Prompted by faith, Noah being forwarded, forewarned by God concerning events of which was yet to come, there was no visible sign, took heed and diligently and reverently constructed and prepared an ark. <laughs> oh, how sweet it is. Heavenly Father, we want to please you. We pray, Father, that our actions exhibit our faith in what is to come. The things that we've prayed for, the things that you've shared, the things that you've spoken over our lives, Father. You will complete the good work that you've begun in us, Father. And faith is believing and seeing the unseen. Understanding that it is a promise by you and it is to come. And Father, we thank you for the courage of being able to say, I have faith. Because without that faith, Father, we can't please you. It's impossible to please you. But Father, we know in Christ, for what has happened in our lives so far, what you've done before, what you're doing now, and what you're going to do, Father, is all evidence. But especially for me, Father, I'd like to pray that my behavior exhibits my unconditional faith in you. Faith for what is to come. That I prepare as it is a dinner for a friend. I prepare that table. I set up everything. I put the meal together specifically for that event, Father. And I know that you are not man that you say one thing and then you do another. All your promises are yes and amen. So, Father, our faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things that we so desperately hope for. Our fa faith is the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed yet to the senses. Father, we thank you that we can stand in full faith, knowing that your will will be done in our lives today. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.